everybody, I want to show you guys how to create this really simple, 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 and I mean simple nail design. Yet it's very effective and super bright. I came across these extremely bright, and I'm talking about neon, super, super neon bright colors at Walmart. And I was really excited because I've always wanted to try the Color Club polish. And these are the two that I picked out, and I absolutely love them. Now, these are matte colors, but the color payoff is actually amazing. I was really, really amazed. Um, usually with neon yellow colors, I have to apply a coat of white polish um, as a base and then apply the yellow on top to make it pop. But with this, I found it was so bright already, it did not need white as a base it is incredible you guys and as you can see it is just so vibrant I mean this camera is really not doing it justice not at all and same the same thing with this neon um, hot pink it is so gorgeous it's got like that beautiful Barbie pink so what I did is I applied my base coat as always and what I'm going to do is just take some of that pink and I'm just going to drag it down. Now the only thing that I find with these colors is that they are a little bit on the thick side. I just think that probably because of the pigment is so heavy that it does create that sort of like thick base to it. And I'm doing this space here on purpose because now what I'm going to do is take the yellow and I'm just going to apply it into that corner. And just kind of drag it in certain spots onto the nail. And it just sort of creates this really funky look. And I've done this one in yellow, so I'm going to take the pink and just clean off the brush and just kind of dry drag it. I don't want to color the entire nail, I just want to create this sort of illusion of patterns on it. And as you can see, every nail will turn out slightly different depending on what it is that you're looking for. Now you can apply. Um, stamping on top of this which would re look really really cool but I think I'm gonna leave it like this and it does dry matte so if you want to leave it just like this it's up to you or you can apply a top coat to make it all nice and shiny which is probably what I'm going to do because I feel like even though it's looking really great right now I feel like if I do bump into something it will tend to scrape off so it's always best to use a top coat in this case I'm gonna go ahead and do this other hand and I'll come right back and show you guys the end result and I just want to show you guys real quick how this thumb has been holding up um, as you can see there's growth right here this is my new nail this is the one that I reattached it's growing out really really nicely I'm very very pleased the tea bag method does work you guys it holds the nail real well you just have to be very careful and re um, apply your patch every week and a half or so so I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails and I'll come back with the so I've gone ahead myself. and painted the other nails and if you want to leave your design just like this it's perfectly up to you I feel like I want to add some depth to this design so I'm going to grab a little bit of black and I'm going to wipe most of the polish off the end and I'm just going to like lightly drag it and I'm going to emphasize on the tip of the nail so that it looks like my tip is just dipped into the black barely. Do you see that? So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of my nails. Just want to emphasize into that tip. And 
and I'll be right back. top coated on my nails as you can see they look really really cool I'm really glad that I decided to add that black it just adds that depth and dimension to the nails so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next tutorial bye